What is not nearly as bad as people make it out to be? Owning your mistakes. Not even the big ones. The smaller ones. Yeah, that's my fuck up. I'm sorry. I'll learn from it. Move on. Writing a will. People are weird about thinking about their death or having conversations about what they should do. Have the conversation. I assure you, we all die, and dying intestate or without a personal directive makes it way more difficult for your family. Edit. Thank you for the awards. I really hope this comment and thread sparks helpful and productive conversations. You can be young, uh, old, have a million dollars or have a random spare penny to your name. But at least think about it. It's just a legal document. I promise it's not going to take you out the minute you sign. Solo traveling, do so with proper prior planning and understand the risks. Spending time alone with yourself. You don't always have to be around people. In fact, it's bad not to spend time alone. Edit. Also, never let people make fun of you for wanting to be alone. Those kinds of people hate being alone because they don't know how to entertain themselves. A prostate test. Yes, the doctor will stick a finger up your butt to check your prostate. 1. The doctor is wearing a rubber glove and will put some lube on his finger. 2. The whole procedure takes less than one minute. There is nothing sexual about it, it's a common medical procedure. No. You are not gay if you let the doctor do this? No. The doctor is not trying to make you gay. No. The doctor is not enjoying himself or trying to degrade you. He's just checking if you have cancer that could kill you if it goes undetected for too long. The whole, I'm never letting a doctor touch me there. Attitude is mind-blowing. People make it sound like it is the most degrading and painful experience they've ever had. It's nothing. Seriously, chill out, people. Saying, no, unapologetically. GI distress after Taco Bell or White Castle. I for one hear all the jokes but never had anything nasty happen. Edit. I've also never had an issue with Arby's or Chipotle either. And with Taco Bell I usually drown my items in fire sauce. Rip Verde. Jury duty. It was actually quite interesting to get an inside look at being on a jury. Long drives. It's something I enjoy. Waiting. Just chill, bro. Telling people something they don't want to hear and not being apologetic about it. Being nice to other people. Root canals. They're not fun. But if go to someone who knows what they're doing, there's no real pain. The fear leading up to it was much worse than anything that actually happened. Being single. Being in a long committed relationship. People always make it sound so black and white. A little communication can take you far. Mentally ill people. Specifically people with scary disorders like schizophrenia did. Along that same line, mental hospital patients, edit, first, well thanks so much for all the upvotes and awards. Second, I've gotten a few comments misunderstanding, so I am going to clarify. I'm referring to the people who have these disorders, not the disorders, having the disorders. Finally, to everyone saying, I agree, except for this disorder, that one is still scary, no. I mean that one too. Yes. Even that one that you're thinking of. Weightlifting. Seriously. Don't focus on the weights other people in the gym. Focus on yourself and master form technique on each movement and progressively increase your strength. Really not that deep unless you get into powerlifting, bodybuilding, Olympic lifting. Getting a vaccine. People overthink, overreact the needle pain which is never as bad as the sting. Having a colonoscopy. You shit for a couple hours and then you go into the office and go to sleep for a bit. 
It's not a big deal in the side effects of avoiding one are way worse. Math. Some of it is certainly complex. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like people hate math solely because they have very negative views of their own abilities. Anyone can learn math, and being good at math isn't defined by doing complex math problems in your head. Edit. Just want to note that math anxiety is a real thing. And I know that much of the hatred comes from bad teachers and horrible learning experiences. And yes, some of it is too abstract and complex for people to grasp. But I believe more people have the potential to excel in it than they think. I grew up with teachers who constantly said, girls are bad at math, so I never really pictured myself going into a career that involves it until later on. Now I'm a lecturer in a scientific field, and I'm trying to show students that it doesn't have them to be scary. Your perspective can change the way you encounter it. I disliked math and statistics until I ran into a practice problem that discussed how soldiers for the Vietnam War were drafted using a lottery system. They randomly matched 366 days in a year, including possibility of leap year, with the numbers 1 to 366. All the dates for January were put into capsules, poured into a large glass container, and shuffled. The capsules for each month were added and mixed, month by month. Then one capsule was drawn. People with a birth date in the drawn capsule were assigned to the first draft, and so on. When looking at this problem, we can examine possible biases with this method. Is this a fair system? There tends to be clusters of birthdays in certain months where other months have far fewer birthdays, etc. I found it kind of messed up that a flawed system was being used for this. Seeing it from this perspective made it a bit more real to me. If we can recognize bias methods, we can change them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.